and with our team coverage, the city of Springfield is getting millions of dollars in rebuild Illinois grants from the state. But as of right now, none of the money will be going to the east side. Reporter Matt Roy is working for you tonight to find out why. That's right, the Rebuild Illinois money is going to be for downtown and west side projects. And then if there's any money left over, only then will the east side get some of it. Well, the east side is in bad shape and we need every bit of funding that we can get. Needed, but not arriving. At least not through Rebuild Illinois money. If we're able to leverage other federal or state funds, then we'll look at uh, possibly utilizing the rest of the Rebuild money for uh, possibly some east side uh, road rehabilitation projects. Some east side residents say too often it's nice roads, sidewalks, and businesses on the west side of town. But they say the east side is forgotten about in many cases. When I do travel outside of 3, 2, and 1, the appearance of the entire atmosphere in all areas are night and day. Why is it that you think that, that the east side does somehow get forgotten about or kind of left in the dust with some of these items? You know, I... I can't put my finger on it, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make sure that it doesn't get forgotten. I'm Last year, it was announced that 1.5% of the Springfield cannabis tax would go towards east side economic development. Gregory says he hopes this isn't the reason that they're getting passed over for other funding. Well, I certainly hope that's not the case. Um, that's something that, that, that does trouble me. No matter what the reason is, some residents say more priority has to be put in to the east side of the city. We are asking for change. It is time for a make a change, a makeover in Ward 3. Now, speaking with the mayor yesterday, he says the rebuild Illinois money allows Springfield to move some money around. Bottom says with this reallocation of funds, hopefully the east side will get some help too. In Springfield, I'm Matt Roy reporting. All right, thank you, Matt. The east side of town gets half of the new cannabis tax and the other half goes to police and fire pensions.